Hey everybody, Scott Jotweiler here, the QA guy for stability.ai. And what I want to do is to show you my upscale technique for getting really big images. Now I showed you a technique in a previous video and that technique is very valid. In fact, I oftentimes mix them as I'm trying to troubleshoot images. But ideally I want a graph where I can drop any image in and it'll go ahead and upscale it. I don't want to have to type in numbers or figure out things. So today I want to show you how to upscale using a calculator to determine the optimal size for SDXL because it's been trained in certain resolutions. We want to make sure we match those. So I'm going to show you a couple of different custom nodes we're going to need. So click on manager. We installed the manager last time and I am going to go ahead and turn on this badge nickname here so you can see the badge over the top of the box. You'll see what I mean in a moment. On our custom nodes, I have the set to installed. You can see these are the ones I have. So here's our control net we just did a couple days ago. The Comfy Manager, which you obviously see over here. And with the Ultimate SD Upscaler here, this is a fantastic tool, uh, which will break the image down into tiles and, and do each tile. Comfy Math, which is really needed because we do a lot of mathematical operations, but it isn't built into Comfy by default. And then a recommended resolution calculator. This is the key to the whole thing here to make sure that whatever we get it will match the SDXL recommended resolutions. Okay, so the first thing let's do, let's load an image. Okay, there you go, you can see it's pretty sizable. So let's take this image and let's work with this. So to start off, well, let's go ahead and load in our checkpoint. Okay, here's SDXL, ready to go. And let's go ahead and load in the upscaler so we can see what it requires. There are two versions, the ultimate SD upscale and the upscale without upscale. <laughs> so what this does is just retile and add detail. So let's go ahead and use this one here and we can see what it requires. It requires an image, that's enough. It requires a model, it requires a positive and a negative. We'll do that in a second here. It requires a VAE. Now the positive and negative, we're just gonna create blanks here and you could go ahead and uh, put in something here to help guide the upscale if you'd like. Uh, if you want to add additional detail and so on. Again, depends on the amount of denoise you have here as to how much it's going to pay attention to this or pay attention to what you're prompting. The other thing we have to be aware of is that as we're doing this, it's going to break it down into tiles here. And in fact, we're going to go ahead and set this to 1024 right now. Because that is what SDXL expects for tile size. So whatever you have, it's going to take that image and break it down into tiles of 1024 by 1024. And that's pretty much the secret to it here. Now there are other tweaks down here for resolving if you get seams, uh, but we're not gonna have that. And our upscale here for denoising is one, that means it's 100% gonna be replaced this with the tiles, which means you're gonna get a whole bunch of squares of random things. We don't really want that. Now let's go ahead and set this to something like 0.25. So it means only 25% of what we're upscaling is allowed to change, uh, which is enough to add detail to this. And I don't need to type a prompt in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize these and scooch them out of the way. Now, like I said before, I don't wanna to have to type in numbers whenever I'm dealing with any image. I just wanna drop it in here and have it multiply whatever it is by four and scale it up. So that's what I wanna set up. So let's go ahead and load that calculator in. It's under utilities, recommended resolution calculator. And you can see that we have a desired X and Y. This is our target, X and Y is handed in. And then we're going to go ahead and add this upscale factor here, which we'll talk about in a second. So first of all, we need to get the size of this image. It's under nodes, math, graphics. So there's the SDXL resolution and the nearest SDXL resolution. Let's go ahead and use this one. And it takes an image as an input and it brings out the height and the width, which has been adjusted uh, to SDXL's resolution. Now, in this case, I wanna multiply these so let's go ahead and, and put that in. So under math again, under integer, we want integer binary operation. And we're gonna change this from add to multiply. Now it gives us an A and a B and it doesn't really matter what you choose here, but I'm gonna go ahead and convert both of those into inputs. And one of them is going to be just a primitive, add node here on the utilities is primitive and changes to a four. That's the scale factor we're gonna want. In fact, if you didn't know what it was and you're getting lost, you can actually right click right in the little dot and rename the slot that you didn't know that one. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and, and multiply this again. Uh, so control C and then pull down shift when you paste and it'll keep a connection. So we have our width here and our height. So this will multiply both of these by four to give us our upscale. And of course you're hinting here that we want an upscale that's a four times upscale and we do. Let's pull this upscale model out 
load an upscale modeler. And in here, I'm just going to grab, uh, I like this foolhardy one here. This adds a little bit of skin texture. So we'll use that one. So we're expecting a four times. So it knows that it's going to try and get us up to four times, uh, but we don't want this to be something we type in to make it just a four, because again, we don't know what these numbers are going to be. So let's go ahead and let this calculator do it. And that's what that upscale factor is for here. Let's go ahead and change this to an input and we'll just use upscale factor this way. Now this also comes with a pretty handy thing here. This is the reverse upscale. So if you're using a four times upscaler, but we only want to upscale by two, for example, it will go ahead and upscale it and then downscale it uh, if you're using a four times upscaler so that it only is twice the size. So in this case, let's go ahead and we need our desired X and our desired Y to be plugged in here. So let's change those to inputs. So here's our X, which is our width, our Y, which is our height. And now no matter what image we drop in over here, and we'll go ahead and multiply it by a scale factor of four and create those two numbers for our desired X and Y. This will go ahead and figure out what that scale factor is going to be and hand it to this here, which will then take it and only denoise it by 25% into 1024 by 1024 boxes. So let's go ahead and up our steps a little bit here because when this is done, I think I'm going to love it. So let's just go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and save that image off. And we should be good to go. Now, this is not going to be quick, okay? It's a big, it's a big image to start with, uh, and it's going to break it down into pieces. And if we bring up our console, we can actually watch this thing go. So let's go ahead and cue prompt and bring that up. Now, you may be wondering, why am I using the nearest SDXL resolution from Comfy Math and then putting it into the recommended resolution calculator? Am I not just doing the same thing twice? I am, but I have a scale factor in the middle that right now is set to four, and it may not always be four. Maybe I want to upscale it by one and a half times or 1.7 times, but regardless, I want to know what it starts with, make sure I get that to the right resolution, and then pass that on to the recommended resolution calculator in the second half. Now, if I was a node that just pulled the width and height, I wouldn't need to use that one, but because I have comfy math anyway, I kind of get both at the same time. Okay, that took a while, 354 seconds. And you're like, wow, that took forever. Yeah, well, learn to paint. You know, that takes uh, years. <laughs> so we were able to do this pretty fast. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, waiting 300, 300 seconds. Let's go and find something to do, like record a video. So there we go. We have a nice upscale and, again, unguided as far as prompt goes. So, again, you can hand it whatever kind of image you like from stable diffusion, mid-journey, uh, a photograph. It doesn't matter. It's going to go ahead and upscale it and add, again, detail from the SDXL model guided by your prompts and the amount of denoise you had. And, again, in 1024 by 1024 um, upscale here. So it did create 16 tiles to make this work. But, again, I don't know how many tiles it's going to take. Again, it depends on whatever image I drop in here. And I don't want to have to take the time to figure out the proper resolution for SDXL to work. Great. We already have that done for us here. So there you go. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, once again, thanks to everybody supporting the channel here. I put a list of the people uh, that have joined. Again, click the shiny join button down below. Uh, I don't have a Patreon. I use the one here on YouTube. So super easy for you to Go ahead and join and I will put this graph uh, as a post on the uh, private area there for anybody who's sponsor level or higher. You can go ahead and grab this graph and download it uh, so you have it to use yourself. Otherwise, go ahead and build it and then you can go ahead and save this off. And again, to reload it, just drag the image in here and it will reload everything. Everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.